Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Yes, again, I'd like to encourage everyone, if you haven't checked out this transmission from the Lyrans and Arcturians about the Grow in Lionsgate portal and ascension, just because Lionsgate was yesterday doesn't mean the portal just disappears. No, that portal is growing as we are uh, leaving the dark age, but it's, you know, again, it's always darkest before dawn, and I do think we need to be prepared for what the rest of this year is going to bring. Indeed, we do. So this is a good one to understand that a little more. Yep, absolutely. And again, the system doesn't want you understanding that there are aliens out there and demons. Absolutely. And also angels and all the above. It's always, you know, again, when we look at the system, it's all about dividing up into camps. Always about dividing into camps. You know, what's going on with the airplanes? I don't know what they're going to say about this one. But this was a passenger plane uh, with 62 people on board that they say, I saw one report saying 70, and it crashed in uh, Venjado, is Sa Sao Paulo, Brazil. Sao, Sao Paulo, I believe, is the second, first or second largest city in Brazil. Uh, I understand it's not the capital, but this is a populated area that it came down, and it just it dropped like a rock. Very, very scary. In fact, um, you know, it, it really just hit me. Um, I, it just felt, I don't know. I, I think I've been kind of worried about planes dropping out of the sky. I think I've shared that with you guys. I don't know what they're going to say is the cause of this. Um, but no survivors. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, again, send out your prayers and best wishes. Uh, we, we are well aware of all the problems with Boeing planes and all the problems with perhaps um, health issues with those people that are flying most of the planes because, again, uh, they have had to do certain things to maintain their position, if you know what I mean. This man, uh, this young man can count himself lucky or blessed or just simply wasn't his time, however you want to look at it. He was supposed to go on the plane. He didn't board it because the boarding bit limit had been exceeded and he's alive. Otherwise, he would probably would not have been alive. This made me um, check and just take a peek. And we're looking at the military aircraft up over the U.S. 333 at the moment. Oh, 335. It is, it, it's, it's a little high. Um, I do watch this on a regular basis. We don't follow it like Monkey Works does. You could get more details from him. This is really what he really focuses in on. Um, but it is a little bit high, but we've been running high uh, for a long time now. And there are flights coming in from uh, over the drink, as you can see this. This one's coming in from over in Europe. Quite a few. Uh, there's there's a lot of military activity going both directions. Uh, there's a lot of military activity going and sending supplies into uh, Europe and also the Middle East. And then there's stuff coming back this way too. And when you see them lined up like this, oh, it, it's just, it, it's curious. There, when is it going to start? When is it going to start? And you guys know what I mean by that. I think, um, really, it could be any time now. We were just talking to our beloved Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. And she was saying, what are you guys getting? You know, are we shifting timelines? Uh, it. I thought we felt like we were shifting timelines. And in fact, I guess we did shift a timeline if things didn't happen on schedule. Um, let's hope that we could shift another timeline because it does feel like we're getting close. As you see, they're, they're moving all this stuff. Uh, it looks like it's heading out of Washington, heading down towards uh, Florida. I don't know if that's going to be the ultimate destination. Um, but man, it's just crazy out there. It is. And the energy is really still very, very high. So we have a lot going on. Don't know what happened with that plane that just dropped out of the air, but it literally did. It, I mean, it was like it's going along and then it's falling. It, I mean, it reminded me of a cartoon where the plane is just dropping. How does that happen? How does that happen? I mean, don't they 
aren't they in the air and they have like some momentum so if the engine stops well, they keep gliding that's the thing but that not was this plane weird. that was the thing that was weird it, it had no like forward momentum it just right. dropped like a rock it did it just dropped and it wasn't broken up it wasn't like it blew up in midair it wasn't like it was shot down mm-hmm. it it just dropped like a rock like somebody stopped its momentum and yeah. turned it off and it just yeah floated i mean it makes me wonder I and mean, did they did they zap all of the electronics did everything just simply stop at once and and somehow it hit an air pocket and it just dropped i mean i'm still kind of in shock over that but really i think that's what it would look like if we had an emp but it would be more like a iron blanket falling down on everyone so these are C-17 Globemasters, which could be troops. It could be just equipment, hardware. Um, you know, of course, there's a lot of chaos out there. And then there's a lot of people that just have their jaws wide open because they're watching what's happening over in the UK and saying, are you serious? There is a woman here that uh, is over here pushing this garbage pail And they push the garbage pail over at these people, not hurting anybody, that have shields up, you know, obviously riot police, what have you. They threw a dumpster at the riot police that didn't hit anybody. She just got two years in jail. What? I mean, they let people off for horrible things. She gets two years in jail for, for pushing garbage on the street. That's kind of crazy, but even more crazy, you have many people buzzing about this. The British police are now threatening to extradite Americans and others from other countries and arrest social media influencers like us that live abroad over posts on social media. Yeah, here you go. And, you know, England police say they will extradite and imprison Americans, not just Americans, they just, you know, in general, anybody over social media posts has the world gone like completely bonkers no this is just the system showing itself and exposing itself and when cindy was channeling the guides and was fully under it was the way they said that it won't be long now and you'll know exactly uh the system for what it is no more illusion of freedom no no more illusion of you know them standing over in the category of you know upholding the right upholding the rights of individuals working for uh, the greater humanity the greater societal good all that's going to go out the window because they're going to show you their true colors now at this point in time Mm -hmm. and you know in in some ways that would help that would be helpful so Other people will see it and they'll wake up as well. Yeah, and and I don't I'm not going to play this, but I'll give you guys the links um, because there there was a time recently when I played something and then they blocked it in all countries. And, you know, so I'll just give you the links. You could play it yourselves. Meanwhile, this is the state of society as you have three felons in the Bay Area, uh, looting a safe from a multi-million dollar home in broad daylight in California. Yeah, you know, and and that is obviously not the worst thing we've seen uh, in these times. We've seen much, much worse. And, you know, here again is is Kamala. And I found it kind of fascinating because we played this clip six months ago, a year ago, a long time ago. And I saw it's trending, trending in the U.S., uh, 19,000 plus posts. People are saying, did you hear what she said? Did you hear what she said? You know, it it just just disappeared off of there. Um, Yeah, because what she said quite clearly is, again, you know, we have to invest in clean energy, invest in electric vehicles, and reduce population. Then we could get fresh, uh, clean drinking water and a better environment. But she said it. And, you know, like this person says, I'd rather not be reduced. How about you? I know. I, I think her and uh, Gil Bates, I mean, they've said, a, they've said a mouthful, which is saying it all. And then again, do you, you ever know this? Have you ever experienced 
and maybe it was your kids or maybe it was you or or somebody in a school situation where you want somebody to do one thing so you say the exact opposite have you ever seen that before uh you know no matter what you do you know don't tickle me when you really want to be tickled yeah well here you have Yuval Noah Harari saying that if 45 becomes you know POTUS again in 2025 it'll be the end of the global order basically he will stop our one world government agenda at least for four more years well I wish it was so simple I really do wish it was so simple we understand there's plan A plan B all the way down to plan Z um, so it's obvious that the world has caught on as you know they seem frustrated when they were saying people just don't get climate change well because the science you know when you look at the big big picture it's not adding up and if we look back and take at face value comments made by many people Al Gore we'd all be swimming in water by now you know the <laughs> The, the coastline of the U.S. would all be 50 miles in deeper than it is. That hasn't happened. Yes, the storms are going up, but we're noticing strange radar patterns at the same time. Uh, y you know, people are waking up. They're not waking up fast enough. But you have to realize, if they're telling you, we don't want this to happen, maybe they do want it to happen. Y you know what I mean? Y you know, that... You say the reverse because you want to expect that they're going to go contrary to what you say. It's again, it, it's all about, it's all about basically they want to maintain control by navigating through. And they have an AI system that can go through and do all the numbers and constantly update the numbers. And so, you know, they'll realize, okay, well, our chances of, you know, succeeding in plan uh, D right now have just gone down to 33%. That's not good. But if we shift and we run the world down this way, we still maintain power for four more years or eight more years or nine more years, whatever it is. They, they have AI algorithms, which we're all getting more acquainted with now, that will run the numbers and they will figure out the most reasonable path to take in which the control system maintains its control for a longer period of time mm -hmm. it does it, do, it does a really good job too and, and these controllers follow it and they listen to it and they pray to it but um yeah reverse psychology works on children and adults it just never seems to not work and here you have somebody you know that understands nutrition more than uh the average doctor does because again, when you go and, and please do check out in your own state how many hours of nutrition doctors are mandated to understand and study and pass uh, because it's not much. And most lay people that are in, um, you know, the wellness, health, fitness, uh, you know, in, in, in those areas of employment have had much, much more than the typical doctor when it comes to understanding how nutrition works. When you look at a hospital, and you see all the food in the hospital is going to fuel cancer. It's going to fuel inflammation. It's going to f fuel your quick demise. Why do they have this garbage, again, cooked in se seed oils? Uh, why do they have simple sugars? It, why, why do they have this garbage in a hospital if they're truly trying to get you healthy? Well, you know, maybe they, they just simply want to hold on to repeat customers. It's horrible. I mean, and this is a university. It's a university where they teach. <laughs> and they do studies. And they do studies. And it's just full of garbage. And I don't know. You know, it's, it's just jaw dropping. I mean, just like this. I, I know these ducks, they know exactly what they're doing. There's probably some f duck food in that feathered thing that he has there, but they're having a really good time. I, I, I could watch the ducks all day, they're great. Well, I'd say they're geese, is my guess. Ah, um, but either way, you know, I, I think the, the Pied Piper, uh, so to speak, you know that whole thing about the Pied Piper. Um, well, you know, humanity, I think, has shown that its, its intelligence is less than, than these geese. Even though these geese are being led right now, when it comes to going off a cliff and allowing themselves to fall off a cliff, they won't do it. They're going to stop at the last moment. They're going to realize, no, <laughs> we're going to fly or we're going to turn to the left or to the right. 
unfortunately, humanity throughout the, our, our history that we know of has gone straight off the cliff time and time again. And really, what we're, what we're seeing right now with people that are, are giving us these, these news reports, like this, this guy right here, the Met Police Chief, he's leading people right off a cliff. It's straight into oblivion. And, you know, he has a choice. You could step down. You can make a big statement. And you could tell, you know, what's really going on if you want to. Uh, instead of enforcing, you know, the will of the few upon the many, it, it's it's only elongating uh, what's going to transpire, which ultimately the system's going to implode upon itself. The quicker that it happens, uh, the the happier and healthier the majority of people will be, because the reality is, if it wasn't for the system right now, our lives would be happier and healthier. We we we'd be living much much longer. You know, if you really look closely, uh, there's really no reason for us to, to die so prematurely as we do. And we even have uh, our life expectancy is decreasing in a time when it should be increasing exponentially. Just look to the cycles of the yuga for understanding. No, it's the simple fact that, that everything about this system that's been in place is completely unhealthy. And the system is the only real problem that we're facing on this planet. And yeah, you, we we have many different labels in the system. As long as people start, you know, keep buying along with, well, I'm in a capitalist society and we have democracy and it's all really a communist problem, or it's a left problem, or a right problem, or it's this this religious group or that religious group. No, we are divided purposely for the express. The, the only reason we are divided the way we are is because it allows the few c to control the many. Mm. We have choices to make. Absolutely. He has a choice to make. You know, is he going to just blindly go along? You know, everybody that's listening to this broadcast, we, you know, we face choices every single day. How long do we, you know, go without speaking up a little bit more, especially when... They are going to try to clamp down on free speech. This is this is what's happening right now because they're losing control. They're going to get more desperate and they're going to clamp down more and more and more until it all implodes on them. And it will. It's just a matter of time. Let's create a better world. Absolutely. In a peaceful manner. Always in a peaceful manner. Much love. Look forward to your comments. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.